Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. I went ahead and head over to, headed over to the Isle of the Damned and brought Fargo along for his stealing capability. I cannot speak. And Karsh along because you need him to do this next part. So we want to go back to where we fought Garai eh, about six videos ago in the game. I'm not sure if I still need the mirror, but either way, I have it. So let's go ahead and retrace our steps back to that way again. Here we go. Come up here. No, I do need the thing majigger. Let's see. I think this is the right way. Yeah. Okay, this looks correct. Aha! Here we go. So we have a battle. And for once, these guys are actually quite serious. What suspicion? What are you guys talking about? Ah, so let's get a little bit of plot here. It seems that Salt and Pepper have finally turned against Karsh. Aw, oh, how cute! He's using the axe to... Cut, <laughs> fight a sword. That makes sense. And there's Glenn in the back. And Lady Riddle, I guess. Wrong answer, Glenn. Come here. No, not that. Ah! Ah, shoot, it's just a flower. What a thoughtful little five-year-old. Oh, how silly of you, you stupid boy. <laughs> so let me get... I'm assuming that Karsh likes Riddle, too. But Dario does, too. So they're both fighting over here. <laughs> and Dario or uh, Karsh see this with anger in the background. Huh? Oh. Same flower 20 years later. Huh, what? It hasn't wilted yet. Mary? So congratulations. When's it gonna be? Where? Who? Why? Why? Together. Aww. What did that scene have to do with him killing Dario, though? Oh. Well, he killed a bellflower, he didn't kill Dario, though. Oh, never mind, I guess we're about to find out. Wait, don't tell me he takes a mass moon too, just like, uh, Radius. Aha!
sir? S sir? Sir? Ma'am? So wait, was Garai already dead at this part of, the, like, of this timeline or whatever? Because that's Dario's father. <laughs> Is that the Massamoon? Cut to him killing guy with an axe instead of a sword. And then somehow back here at Termina again. Ah, he did like Riddle. Wait, does Glenn know? I mean, if I was Glenn, if he just said, I killed your brother, basically, sitting there talking about his inner monologue, surely Glenn would, like, come from behind and kill him. Alright, we got a real fight here. These guys are serious this time. No more little tutorials or funny little jokes or gags or them running around with their heads cut off or them attacking each other or them attacking one another or anything else. No, anyway. You get the point. They're serious. So let's go ahead and uh, now kill whoever. And uh, Pepper does have the Forget Me Not pot, which is quite useful. You can only get a f one or two of them or whatever in the game. So if I steal it, great. If not, I won't cry about it. And this is completely optional, I'm not here uh, because it's required, so I just wanted to show off every little side quest that the game has to offer. And plus it's useful anyway. Are you holding your side? Are you hurt? Are you wounded, man? Damn. This may be the last fight you ever have with him, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, he's gonna die. What? I said die! Now he's gonna die? Die! Eat cats! Alright, now he's dead. And let's try to go ahead and steal from him. I said... Oh shit. Now you could trap that if you wanted to. I already have one or two of them, so I don't really want to anymore. So I'd rather just take a massive amount of damage. Because that makes sense. Ow! Pillage! I guess I got something. Oh, good, I did, did it. Alright, cool. Go, holy light. Might as well use whatever I have. Okay. It's time to start hitting him. No! Not that! No! Wait, I need... Do I get a star? Because I need to... Re I guess I'll revive, just in case I get a star. I don't want to lose out on that. Even if I don't plan on using cars, it's still useful to have them up. Oh, man! He's gonna kill him! Damn it! Well, I can't... Can't say I didn't try. Oh! He's alive! There we go! Yay! Yay! 
Oh, no stars. Well, well. At least I revived him. Either way. Kill them! No, not that. Kill them. Throw them off into the goo. Throw them into the goo! <laughs> yeah, you've come to an understanding because I whooped your ass. Are they coming on to Karsh? Wait a second, you stole that from me! No, come back, I'll kill you! They waddle on out of here, I guess, alright, whatever. Oh, I got a sprain, I can't run! Broke my leg! I'll meet you guys outside really quick. I want to go to the Homeworld Marble. Actually, I'm still here in another world marble. I thought I could get something here. But I want your stuff. Yeah, I'll take a look, whatever. No, I don't want this crap. Oh, never mind, I need, I need to... Alright, one second. I get it now. As I say, I, I know he gives it to you, but you have to have demi-humans to fit into the city with him. So, let's put, uh... I guess he's a demi-human, right? And then Sprig is definitely a demi-human. Look at that freak. Look at him! Alright, let's try now to talk to him. I hope that's a demi-human. There we go. You can only get this, um, for a limited time, so come by and get it really quick. ASAP. And now I will meet you in the homeworld marble. So what we need to do is take Fargo from that world, another world who just joined, and take him to see this blasted Fargo who is completely devoid of any emotion or thought or anything in this world. If you remember right, uh, Irenes or whatever tried to talk Fargo into helping Marble, but he kept saying no, and that he hated his life and that his, he wished everybody were dead and he just want to make money or whatever, I don't know. Like, I was ranting at that point, but alright. Let's see what he has to say now that <laughs> his former self is here. Aye, landlubber, are you? Are ye be me? <laughs> so now he's going to get a lecture by uh, another world Fargo. Did he just punch himself in the stomach? Dear God, that's just violent. Ha! Who be asking ye, anyway? I do it meself, matey. I commandeer this ship now. Listen up, ye pieces of shit. Wait, isn't this a cruise vessel? <laughs> All hands on deck! Uh, sir, all we have is a bunch of hot women... Well, I guess it is a cruise vessel, but we're <laughs> we're taking a cruise down to fight demis, uh, demi humans. Man the ships! Get all women under twenty a sword. Get all men over fifty a sword. This is no longer a vacation liner. Heave ho! How in the? Yeah, sure, Fargo. We all know you have slaves in the bottom of the ship working this thing. Don't give me that. Oh, it's the desire to go that makes the ship fly. Yeah, whatever. You have slaves down there. This isn't a cruise at all. He enslaves the entire... No, anyway. Well, next time we'll be playing music for Marble to wake the evil spirits up so we can kill them and slaughter them entirely. I don't know, thank you guys for watching. Back next time, I'm out. Yay!